Alrighty guys, welcome back to my latest episode of Port Royal 3. Last episode we just learned what these blue lines around the cities mean. They mean that we own warehouses there and we, that we can enter them right away. Uh, right now, I think what I need is more building materials. It seems like Villa Hermosa needs wood. Let's go to Veracruz because they sell bricks. So let's just buy some of them. And actually, let's take their wood even though they're going to hate me. And also, ooh, yes, we got pirates. Actually, before we attack those pirates, I will do that very soon, actually. Uh, I know how to battle now. And firstly, what I want to do is just uh, go to my own warehouse and take the 287 worth of wood over there. And we can't, well, we can sell our bricks that we already have, but I don't want to do that. Uh, let's just go and take some bricks that they have. We can buy some more wood, even though that was pretty idiotic. And we can go to Villa Hermosa. The reason I can be idiotic and afford to be idiotic is because of all that money I got. Um, meanwhile, let's just head over into Villa Hermosa, and our ship will, like, come to us in the background. Uh, we're still building those houses, still. Um, I offer you the following assignment. Okay, so he wants us to build a couple of meat houses or meat just Meat production facilities. I should say where's our ship is it in yet? It is in yet. Okay. It is in now So we can sell all this Okay, that's more than enough Our popularity is increased. Let's just wait until this Sort of refreshes a little until the game updates how many how much stock we got should happen very soon is this this is our own warehouse, isn't it? We still haven't built that. How many days left? Two days. There we go. Refreshed, and we have more than enough goods. We probably should be on the lookout for a I have the following task bit more. For you. He wants to give us wheat. Although I can't even accept that because well, I can't accept it, but I haven't got my business license yet. So let's go back and look for more building materials, such as over in Campache, they sell a lot of bricks and. Can actually buy some wood from them but the best wood to get is over in corpus christi because it's our own and we can get it for free at least most of it free oh yeah and i gotta remember that pirate ship there we go 94 and it's all free gotta remember that um okay so we'll get it we can destroy that pirate ship which i will do and all that really gives us the ability to do is it, it just gives us money that's all the benefits are of destroying pirates so let's sell all that stuff. There we go. We've got more than enough stuff. Everyone seems to be happy, which is nice. It shouldn't be long until we actually get all of this. How much is this? Four days. Okay, so meanwhile, while that's being built, let's just head back over here and destroy that pirate ship. They have a strength of 81, whereas we have a strength of uh, 101. Actually, let's head over to Campache before we do anything. And let's just repair our ship. I think that would be the smartest thing to do. So, oh, what do you want? They actually seem there to like There is something me. you could do for me. You know what? Let's actually talk to the architects. Architects always seem to be hidden. Okay. $120. Yes, I want to build a warehouse over here. Fantastic. Let's leave this mode and build a couple of residences as well. We need two. Okay. Leave this mode. And... Now, what I wanted to do, the reason I came in here was to go to the shipyard and actually repair. There we go. So, now this ship will repair over itself, or the convoy will repair over time. And that improves our fighting power, which is great, because now we're going to take on those pirates if they're still there, and they are. They have a strength of 81, whereas now we have a strength of 137. And we are actually going to manually fight them, so I'll show you how that works. So... Now, I've acted the, activated the fighting menu. We can choose a manual fight or an automated fight. Uh, as you guys can see, we've got three ships that are available of combat, available for combat, whereas we also have two trading vessels which do nothing. We've got a lot more cannons, a lot more people, and a lot more strength. So let's go manual. Now, the fighting is... St I'm still learning how to do it. Um, we have a... War Galleon uh, selected right now, so they are really powerful. And the way it works, you just basically have to angle yourself correctly, and then you're able to shoot. We only have one type of ammo type, which is just this single shot thing. And as soon, like once we're at the right angle, we um, we like there's a circle around the enemy, and then we're able to shoot at them. So that's how that works. We can actually shoot from a fair distance away, as you guys can see then. Yeah, this guy seems to be coming on our side, so let's just 
get him. As you guys can see, the cannon shoot. We can't select like all ships at once. We can only shoot, um, select one at a time. Also, and we have to be at the right angle. So there we go. We got him pretty good. He's at 186. We're at what? Or whereas one at we're at 285 strength now. Uh, it's just. See, the one thing that really confuses me is how the enemies can shoot basically wherever they um, want to, whereas we can't. There we go, we can get him. See, it's all about angles and stuff, so. There we go. It reloads really quickly, which is great as well for us. Shoot! There we go. We got him good. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I'm probably really, really bad at it. Uh, they seem to only have one enemy, whereas the AI for us has destroyed most of them. Still shoot them. He's taken a fair bit of uh, damage, like giving us a fair amount of damage. And also, we can pick up sailors that have fallen down on the ground. Let's just, okay, let's just select a different war galleon. Tell this guy to come up here. This is getting ridiculous. This guy's going to like die. Some of the war galleons, as you guys can see right now, they go very, very slowly. I think this guy's carrying some stuff as well, so that's probably going to add to it. But we are going by very slowly, so let's just go back to this war galleon. Let's try to get the right angle. As you guys can see, they only have one ship, and we've basically won this. See, we got, we're going so slowly. Hurry up. These two guys are going away somewhere. Okay, how about... Well, they can... Yeah, well, we've basically won this fight. How much strength did this guy have? Does it say? Oh, it's this guy. Okay, he's got... He's got over half strength and there's only 24 more uh, health points. So, we've won this. This is basically just how it works. We can let the AI win it for us. And we won. So, basically, we lost 51 power uh, over that fight. And 91 people have been killed. And we lost 15% of our convoy's health. So... We've won that pretty decisively. Um, and we also got the money. Hurry, hurry up. Head over to Corpus Christi. Um, we also got money for destroying the pirates. Although, did we did it say that we got that money? I'm not exactly sure. But that's what happens. You get money for destroying the pirates. Uh, meanwhile, we can take the wood. And that's it. I'm going to take over here. Let's head over to New Orleans. Because New Orleans sell adobe bricks. And we need more adobe bricks. So, buy a lot of them. Maybe Tamper as well. I can't really remember, can I? No. I'm sure maybe Port St. Joe. No. None of you guys up here? What about Biloxi? No, okay. Let's start heading back down. Villa Hermosa. Actually, go to Veracruz, sorry. And in Veracruz, we will be able to um, get some more adobe bricks. And that's it. Okay. Head over to Campache. Give them the goods that they need. Here, do that. And do that. Fantastic. Okay, so let's head over to Villa Hermosa just for now. Check if we have built those buildings that we need. Yep, we have indeed. And you want meat I buildings. The following assignment. Meat buildings. It's important to look at what type of building it wants because it, it sometimes it's easy. So we bought that. The $120,000 business Thing. I offer you the following. And now by assignment. 10th of January, let's do that. Okay. To meet businesses. So let's talk to this guy. It's just important just to look at what type of business he wants because sometimes I read it as he just wants two businesses and I be build two random businesses. So yeah, and then that sucks because you realize that you failed a mission because you don't build the things that he wants. What do you want? It's just so random how that some guy just randomly pops up. But that's enough meat uh, we need to start importing corn over here for um, whatever we pork so for the corn for the pigs so we need a lot more building materials so let's go ahead and build them uh, I'll find them at least uh, so let's head over to Veracruz who have um, at least some bricks actually they don't really have that many what about Tampico you've got wood so let's actually buy some wood from you guys 
There we go, easy peasy. And let's go to Corpus Christi to take some of our own wood and actually maybe buy some as well. Um, so we'll take some of their wood and also take some of ours. Head over to New Orleans. Hopefully they'll have regenerated their bricks or brick stocks. Let me just check bricks. Fantastic. Let's actually take some people as well. Okay. So we can deliver them in Villa Hermosa. That way we'll all be happy. So, going to Villa Hermosa. What we could do is also repair the ship, which is a good idea because um, the first time that I recorded this episode, I've recorded this episode a couple of times now. We don't have enough bricks. Let's just go back. Um, the first time I recorded this episode and I had that pirate ship fight because that was pretty planned. Um, I lost it. Actually, no, we won the pirate ship fight, but our health was down at 63% or something. And the ship wouldn't move, so I had no idea what was happening. But uh, thankfully, it like, regenerates its like ability to move, so that's good. Um, we still need a lot more bricks. Okay. So, let's just check out this. Yeah, we do need bricks indeed. We, we're done with wood, but we need bricks. We need to invest in somewhere that makes bricks. Campache makes bricks, so... That's right, we just invested in them, didn't we? Just them. Yep. Okay. So, actually, let's just check how things are going over there. Um, yeah, I think we've built everything that we needed, really. Yep. He wants a couple of mis businesses. I'm going to have to build a business license for... A, get a business license for $120,000. And, while we're at it, let's just build a... Actually, let's not build anything, to be honest. I'm going to have to wait up a little bit and build, get a couple more bricks. Uh, I think Havana has bricks. Yep, we do indeed. Just quickly head over there. Hopefully, we'll get and build those buildings before the 10th of January. I think that was the date that we needed to get them by. That should be more than enough bricks. Just head back real quickly. Hopefully, we'll get there by 1565. Yep. Deliver all that. Fantastic. Check back on Villa Hermosa. Just wait for it to refresh a little. There we go. Okay, so have we... I think this is the main... No? The stockyard. What's this? The stockyard's still under construction. How much does this have to... Oh, it's already built. In stockyard by us. In 11, it's going to be completed in 11 days. Nice. Although we still need... Oh, we need people, right? You're getting your people, don't worry. You can get, sorry, you can get 72 people. And what, what's wrong with our warehouse? Lack of raw materials. Ah, yes. That's because we need some corn. We should get the corn very soon, though. Hmm, okay. Let's start heading back. We'll probably have to disband this massive convoy as well because I'm not really into destroying the pirates myself, to be honest. Uh, let's head over to Veracruz again. And get some more bricks. Actually, we don't need wood, so... Uh, it's too late now. Leave it as it is. Head over to Villa Hermosa. Actually, Campache sells bricks as well. That should be more than enough bricks, to be honest. 204 should last us a very, very long time. Now, sell all of that. Sell all of this. Very nicely, indeed. Should we all be built in no time? You still want more bricks, really? Geez, they take up a lot. Anyway, at least this should be built very soon. Three days. Uh, oh, are we going to complete that mission? What do we need to finish it by? Ah, oh, 10th of January. I already completed it. Nice. Okay, nothing came up. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we've got another mission from him. He I wants 175 of that of bricks. So let's go ahead and look for them. 175 bricks. Actually, let's head over to Campache first. Bricks, 33. Let's select this so we can actually see how many bricks we got. And 32. We've, bought, we've got, gone to all the places that offer us bricks. 
Uh, Havana, and then let's go to New Orleans. Oh, nice. That's enough. Okay. And exactly where were we going? I think it was Villa Hermosa. Yep. Okay. Villa Hermosa it is. And then the Spanish will like us, hopefully at 90%. I'll add out it. Okay, let's just check. Reputation, 86. God damn, it's so close. It's so far away still. Okay, we're up to the final stretch now. Okay, watch this. Watch this. We'll get it. I'm not fast. Hell, oh, come on. Give me a mission. Give me a mission. Just speed time up a little, maybe. That should work out. Come on. Give me a mission. For bricks. Imagine if you gave me a mission to create a brick building. That would just work out. We'd create some good trading routes then. Let's see what the uh, reputation. You see, it's going down at 85%. Come on. Come on. 83%. Oh, God damn. It's going down way too fast. Come on. Oh, this guy's an ass. Anyway, let's head back over to Villa Hermosa then. Actually, we could have headed, headed over to Corpus Christi as well. I have the following task right. for you. Okay, two wheat businesses. That is fair enough. So let's just go to this guy that's hidden in the architect. And wheat farm. Yes. Okay. Let's build it over here. One, two, three. And let's build it over here as well. So one, one, two, three. Okay, that's enough. Now, we need some of those building materials that are much needed. And it seems like they needed people as well, but they can wait up. Um, Villa Hermosa. How about let's go back to Corpus Christi. Take some of our wood and actually see if we have another mission that we can complete. Because I want to get that 90% Spanish reputation. Take all that wood. Nice. And check at Corpus Christi. Just slow time down to 0 0.1. There we go. What do you want? I offer you the following. Okay, we can do that for you. So you want 82 textiles. Okay, let's just accept that, sorry. I okay, so what are our two missions? Tasks, two businesses. Okay, and... Okay, dokes. Okay. And 82 textiles. Two businesses and 82 textiles. Ah, oh, you've got textiles, nice. Okay, so let's buy a crap load of that. And textiles, 82. Thank, thank. Unfortunately, they don't have that many. Hmm. There we go, you've got some stuff that we need. Port St. Joe. Um, textiles, only 11 though. Tampa, you sell clothes. And that Florida Keys then. You sell bricks, so Florida Keys. Let's just go to them. Buy a lot of bricks. That should last us for a long, long time. We need the textiles though. So actually, let's go ahead to Havana, take some more bricks. It should last us more than enough. And there we go. Nombre de Dios. How much textiles do we actually need? Um, 82, sorry. 82. Okay, that's enough. Corpus Christi. Nombe de Dios don't really like us anymore. Simon successful. Very nice. Um, sell all this stuff. Nice. Yes. All right. Assignment complete. So we, what we do is we head over to Port Royale. Talk to the admin. Or Viceroy, sorry. No, takeover. What? Your popularity in the town has is higher than 90%. It's got to be higher than 90%. God damn, this is hard. Okay, it's got to be higher than 90%. Do we have any other missions? No, we completed all of them. So, Cayman Islands. Why don't you like me at 90%? You love me. Can we check? No, we can't check. Take over over here. Okay, what else do we need to do then? They love me at 100%. The Spanish love me. Oh, there we go. Now it's ready. That's good. The manner in which you engage yourself for our town, town of Cayman is exemplary. It has earned you the highest reputation with both the local population and the population of Spain. 
In addition, you are the largest employer in this town. I would therefore like to offer you the administration of the town for a small transfer fee of $170,000. You are now the administrator of a city, and that also gives you command over its military. Nice. From now on, no other nation will involve themselves in the administration of this city unless they want to take it away from you by force. Nice. All right. All the town's traders and producers will stay. Just continue to care for the town as you have thus far and ensure that it never fa falls into the hands of our enemies. Ensure that any excess production of tobacco is shipped to my town or one of the, our governor's towns on a regular basis as our treasure fleets will collect it there to transfer to the old world. Is that a threat? Oh, nice. Fantastic. You have accomplished so much more for yourself and for Spain than I had ever dared to dream. A ceremony is being prepared in Cayman. The Viceroy himself will proclaim you the new city administrator in front of the entire city. And I'm sure that Elena will be present. The young man who arrived in the new world as a castaway and then worked his way up as a trader has grown to become a decorated captain of the Spanish colonies. Just as he managed to turn a poor city into a thriving metropolis, he has conquered the hearts of men and above all, a certain young woman. Elena was wrong about this remarkable man. And so it is that for the first time in her life, Elena begins to realize that it is not just a person's social station which makes them something special, but also their deeds and gallantry. Unfortunately, this is where our collaboration comes to an end. You have, exactly as you promised in the beginning, truly helped Spain progress, and for that, I thank you. Take good care of your city, and expand your trading companies even further to increase your power and fame in the new world. I will still keep in touch with guidance from time to time. Nice, so basically, I think this is the end of the campaign, so... Um Okay, you just repeat what he just said. Here the camp... There is a bit of a uh, spelling mistake. They left something out. Anyway, here the campaign assignments end and the campaign has been converted into a free game. This way you can continue your trading career. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, this way you continue your trading... Okay, but whatever. Next, you should keep a close eye on your production in Cayman and see if you can get a good price for them. Maybe you will have to expand your trading routes. You should also place an order with Cayman's architect for the construction of your very own palace all right you know what so we're just going to continue with this for a little bit you should place an order with Cayman's architect yes you seem to have made quite an impression on the spanish viceroy's daughter you can try to court her at your viceroy's palace campaign completed you have successfully completed the campaign the path of the trader you should now start the adventure campaign in order to learn all about convoys naval battles and town attacks okay however if you can also you can also continue your game as a free play game or start a new game if you prefer. Okay, let's just continue. I want to court her, so marriage. Steven, I would dearly love to join you, but where would we live? You must build a palace for us to live in together. After all, we cannot live together in my father's house. Please remember that you can only build a palace in a town you administer. Indeed, so let's get out of Port Royal. Let's go to Cayman. Oh, there we go, we have our own flag. Nice. All right. It's kind of disappointing how quick it was. It's only about 11 or so episodes, this game. Anyway, let's just go talk to the administrator. We go all the way up over here. So we can build our very own manor, which costs a fair amount of money. Fair amount of resources as well. Oh, and we've replaced it. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. So let's go out on the lookout for... A lot more resources. Uh, let's just head over to Corpus Christi. Um, buy a lot more wood. Okay. Let's take some from there. Head over to New Orleans. Is there anything else that I needed? What, what do this task show us? Okay, so we can complete like the treasure maps and stuff and that's it. Nice. I'm surprised how quickly we did that. 
I do want to level up though, so we need a lot more wealth. Wow, we need a lot more wealth. Okay, let's just speed everything up a little. And get a lot more bricks. Thank you. Uh, Biloxi, you sell wood. We don't want wood. We want to head over to Cancun because... No, they don't have bricks. Havana does. A pirate hideout has been discovered. Oh, nice. You can now attack the hideout and thereby destroy the pirate gang. But oh, there it be is. careful. If you don't get all their ships, say because they still have a convoy at sea, the remaining pirates may start a new gang somewhere else. <gasps> we don't want that. All right, let's just head over here. So now this is just the free play mode, which just continues on forever and ever and ever. All right, we have, I think we'd have enough of this stuff. We need to head over to Cayman, sorry. You need those goods, so let's give you those goods that you oh so desperately need. There we go. That should be enough. Head over to Cayman. Just see how the production's going. Um, how long is it going to take for them? Okay. It's still going to take you a while, is it? There we go. Oh, nice. Cayman is now your hometown. Okay, it should be, the game should be called Cayman 3 now. So what we can do, we can see when it was made, I think. Acquisition date of this town. Our population is falling down in, uh, it's in the inhabitants. This is our soldiers. This is our level of defense. Okay. Daily tax revenue. Where do we transfer to? Ah, okay, so maybe we can transfer, okay. So we may make a nice amount of money as well. We can see the pirates, we all have that, but... So now, we're all, all, the only difference really is, is that we just make a daily tax revenue, which is pretty sweet. But apart from that, let's just head over and talk to our, the good lady, um, the daughter of the Vice Royal, Elena. Talk to her, marriage. Lately, my father can speak of nothing but you, Rear Admiral Stephen. You are so brave and your eyes full of drive and determination. If you were up to ask for my hand now, my father would certainly have nothing against an engagement. And then we could soon celebrate our wedding. Then we could move to Cayman. Marriage proposal. I am proud that you have asked for my daughter Elena's hand. I will grant your wish. I know you will be as faithful to her as you are to our nation. As a sign of my thanks, I present to you the proudest vessel of our nation has ever boasted. However, I must first ask you to visit the church and commission the wedding celebration. Okay, so let's head over to the church. Maybe, oh, wedding, Do yes, you carnival. To donate goods for the next celebration? It's weird how it says carnival, but it's really a wedding celebration. But um, anyway, uh, we need 80, 40, 40, 80. I've got to remember that, so. Let's go over here. Actually, our ship, none of our ships are here, are they? I don't think so. Let's bring a ship to Port Royal. Oh, God, what did I click on? No, I want to get out of Port Royal. I want to send a ship over there. Right there, there okay. Let's just head back in. The ship should be inside. Was there a fire? I can hear some fire crackling in the background. Anyway, um, so let's buy some rum, because we needed 40, I think. 40. We need 80 of this. We needed 80 of bananas. Okay, what else do we need? Let's just check the church. And 40 Deliver meats, me the goods and I look 40 meats. Okay, we've got all that. Oh, we've got more than enough. Okay. Fantastic. Now I can get married. Carnival. Deliver me the goods and I'll arrange an exhilarating celebration. Oh, the goods must be in your warehouse. Okay. Usually you could just um, deliver it straight away. Anyway. Let's go to our own warehouse and deliver that. Deliver this. Deliver this and deliver that. Go to the church. Carnival. Hand over Good the goods. Time. Thank you for your goods. Nice. I will begin preparation for the celebration immediately. It will make the people in this town happy for many days and everyone will be grateful to you. Their generous benefactor. Didn't we just get married in Port Royal? Wedding bells. Nice. Okay, so let's just click on here what will happen now. We can take this over here. No, let's not do that. Although we probably could. We don't have nine businesses though, do we? 
Anyway, oh, okay, so this is like the main town now. Cayman says the governor's town. We are the governor, the main dude. So that is the story mode, basically. Let's just see if we can do any hanky-panky with um, Elena in the town that we own. Elena, there we go. There is something I must tell you. Oh, nice. I've just heard that the English treasure fleet is on its way to Guadalupe. Ah, so now, like, she tells us and gives us hints, like, to who to destroy. Okay. So that's basically it for this campaign. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I probably will do a little bit of the adventure campaign. Probably not the start because it's exactly the same as the trader campaign. But we'll probably do something a little bit further on. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I'm getting an Xbox 360 very soon. So um, expect some games for that. I'm especially looking forward to Dragon's Dogma. It looks amazing. So keep an eye out for that. And we'll see you guys soon.